doomsday, people. Acryovolcanic meteor that will pass close to Earth underwent a cold volcanic eruption resulting in what looks like horns in telescopic images, but estimates say the closest it will get to us is 144 million miles, so it doesn't seem like we have to worry about it colliding with our planet, but then again, it's only an estimate. Comet 12P's Pornsbrooks will have its closest approach to Earth on June 2, 2024, which may result in some great meteor showers, but no impacts are expected, at this time. The chunk of celestial rock hurtling through space is still unusual though, due the apparent horns, believed to be caused by a supercold explosion of cryomagma, or ice magma, into space. Astronomers first detected a huge burst of light from the comet this month, increasing its brightness about 100 times and giving it the apparent shape of horns although according to some it looks more like the Millennium Falcon. It's thought the pressure buildup was obstructed by the irregular shape of the comet causing the appearance of horns, in the way the 22 billion pounds of dust and ice that were expelled are now reflecting the sun, but it will eventually disappear as the debris becomes too dispersed to catch the sunlight anymore. Ice volcanoes are not yet well understood because they aren't earthly features, but are the current explanation for observations made from other planets and icy moons that orbit them. Possible cryovolcanoes have been identified on Pluto, Titan, and Ceres. The most recent evidence of cryovolcanic activity was gathered by Cassini on its way to Saturn. This comet will pass Earth next year, around July. And when it does that, it'll be closest to us on July 2nd, 2024 and it will be 1.55 astronomical units. That's over one and a half times the distance of the Earth to the Sun. It's not that close. The worst thing that could happen is we might get some meteor showers that could or could not impact Earth. And they probably ain't gonna be that dangerous, so it's not doomsday, people.